Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus. We're jumping in again. Unfortunately, our streak has been reset. Big sad, but this time we've done Zack a lot recently. Let's uh let's try and get a character we haven't played. Have we played the Forgotten? Yeah, I don't actually know. Uh regular Forgotten we have. Okay, let's try and get something we haven't had yet. There you go. Tainted Lily. That's a pretty fun one. Definitely go with that. And it's one that's going to have a few more unlocks as well. Let's jump on in. First thing I do want to do, though, when we jump in here, is just quickly open up this menu um, and quickly check out some of the um, options here. Because I found out that on the last episode I did of one of my other series, all of my bosses ended up being Eternal Champions. So I just wanted to make sure that wasn't the case here. And apparently it isn't even the case anyway. So everything there looks fine. Yeah, for some reason... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, for some reason, I did my uh, showcase of a uh, new character for the, the um, character showcase series. And yeah, it was... Oh, by the way, we look awesome right now. Um, if for some reason, every single uh, story boss was an eternal champion. And I, I think it was just dumb luck. But it seemed like... Because there is an option for every story boss to be an eternal champion. I was a little kind of scared. I have been maybe considering uh, just enabling that option always anyways, but some of the Eternal Champion bosses are insanely difficult, and it would um, increase our chance of dying by a hefty number. For today's question of the day, though, a pretty simple one. What is a mod that you do not understand why I do not use? Why? What's a mod that you really think I should be using, but I don't? Because it would be nice for one to maybe hear some mods that I haven't heard about or haven't looked into enough, and also, it'd be good to give you guys some feedback as to why there's some mods I don't use. Because I'm sure there's a few mods out there that you don't understand why I don't use. Um, and I can hopefully, in the comments, explain a little better why. Oftentimes, the reason I won't use some more popular mods is just simply because it increases the amount of lag when I play. And I like to try and minimize that as much as possible. Or, it'll be something that I don't feel fits in the vanilla game. And while I am doing a modded series, I do like it to be like a sort of vanilla plus style sort of thing. Where it's like vanilla but with extra stuff. So, some of the mods just don't quite fit in. It's not like that. So, it's kind of like getting the right level of stuff so but I'm, I'm sure there's other mods that i i can try out and and look into and maybe maybe even take a second look at i mean hell i took a second look at sewing machine after you guys suggested it and i'm actually really enjoying having it on it's uh the balance of of it has, has been improved or at least it's fitting better into the current level of the series that we're doing right now and i like that a lot um so yeah it's it, it's definitely worth just shouting out a mod that you think I should be using, and I can at least, if, if I'm not going to use it, I can at least point out why, um, and if I am, I can check it out and, and do a bit of testing with it. I do want to get the um, Pockery on the Rocks, whatever that mod's called, that we tried out like last week. I want to get that mod back on the series soon, but I'm just waiting for the uh, developer to update it and um, get it to the point where the lag isn't quite as bad. We'll definitely take the cursed dice here. Um... This is going to give us a curse, but it's going to give us a half black heart on every use. It's pretty strong. It also does once we, like, once we have a curse, it then re-rolls our curse. So, multiple uses are going to be adding extra stuff. Ooh, also, lots of ghost babies here. This trinket's really good. Um, I was going to say I'd like to take that key, but honestly, I don't think I need to now. Got this fella. Yes, I was like, did that bomb get him or not? Oh, I just messed myself up there. Oh, no. I double messed myself up. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy. Got him. That was a little scary. Ooh, also a golden version of this trinket. No idea what that's going to do for us. Uh, I'm going to drop it and see if it has any inclination of what it'll do can have up to five i i hope that some some modded trinkets don't have the ability to like do anything different when they're gold which is fine because that is a lot of extra effort but i'd hope it just increases our like maximum amount oh my game crashed one moment okay so we're back i've replayed most of the floor i actually managed to open this secret room as well which i didn't get last time and honestly yeah let's take that instead um i don't know again if having this gold is gonna do anything because we should end up getting the same the same item as last time. Okay, we didn't manage to bomb him this time. But this time we will. This might even kill him. 
Oh, not quite. Not quite. And it's so hard to hit him when he does that. But it's okay, we got him. And we'll see if Gold Flakes affects this. I do ex I do think that maybe one of the reasons that um I that the game crashed is because I had a gold trinket that wasn't supposed to be gold and it messed things up. I'm gonna just exit and restart in case it crashes again here. Uh, so we can go into the next floor and not have to replay the whole floor again. But this time it seems to have worked. I, I'm gonna say I don't know if the cookie cutter item will actually have any effect being gold. But I'll take it anyways. Oh god, that was close. He did hit me, but not much. I do love gold flakes. It's such a great, uh, such a great um, boss item because it's like it's not insanely powerful because it's kind of like well for one, you do also by the way look at this little fella. You do have to of course have um, like you do have to get hit to use the golden hearts. That that that's not super overpowered. Uh, and like you need to have a trinket to make it gold and there needs to be one that's even compatible with being gold to make it worthwhile So it's like I do feel like it is pretty balanced, but it is definitely one of the stronger ones I feel like the strongest thing it can do really is giving you a golden um, trinket on on Like it, it always drops something gold that so can give you a golden trinket or it can give you um oh, I forgot the trinket doesn't work anymore for some reason um, it can give you a golden trinket or it can give you like a uh, some golden bombs or something. Yeah, because if we take a little look at this um, this trinket here. Picking up red hearts at full health converts them to a temporary damage boost. That's what it's meant to do. Um, for some reason at the moment, it doesn't do that. And I kind of forgot about that when we uh, ended up picking up. So we probably would have been better with sticking with the other, um, the other version, but it's okay. Make our way back make our way back but yeah i would i would love to have this series where any single mod that i like the look of i just i just put on my series and keep i mean there has been mods that i've removed over time um there has been ones that i've gotten rid of uh, I, I guess i'll take seven's kiss Ooh, i would have i would definitely would have rather had purity there but oh well um can i do the glitch thing where you like push it over the gap probably not right no, it doesn't look like it. The poison should be pretty nice, to be fair. Get full of these poops. In fact, let's go to our shop real quick here. Ooh, that is a good item. I do quite like that item. Hmm. I doubt I'm going to be able to afford it, though. But yeah, like... like for example, there's a few mods that I've removed now and again that I bet you guys didn't even notice I removed. Like, I removed the animated items um, one and the animated costumes just because they're nice. I think they're pretty cool, but they're pretty, like, they're just visual and they were fairly high impact on lag. Ooh, this guy is tough. They were kind of high impact on lag. So I was just like, well... They're cool, but I don't need them. Um, and, like, literally no one's even noticed they were gone. So it's kind of like, well, it's pretty much fine. This this guy is... He's a bit of a toughie, this, this champion boy. He's a bit of a toughie. Ooh, flat one damage up there is rather nice. I quite like having that. And we did get enough money because we got hit on our uh, heart to go and get the Sigil of Knowledge. Sigil of Knowledge is ridiculously good. For one reason, it reveals the map after a certain amount of time. But the bigger reason is it opens secret rooms. You don't need to bomb into them. It's very good for that. I love how good our character looks right now. Someone should draw this character. Yeah, so then we get into the secret room for free here. Hey, this is one of my rooms. I believe. Look at my little cell heart babies. And we get into our boss trap room here as well. Sigil of Knowledge, you are the best. I did forget that I could have just hurt myself to get some money. To get Sigil of Knowledge, which if I hadn't, I got hurt on the boss is something I should have done. Don't know why I did that, but I got some health back for it, so it's not terrible. Well, we got Pride back again. Um, I will take Pride because he is quite, quite amazing. Uh, and I guess we'll take Missing No. Some damage up there. Missing No is a bit of a bit of a crazy one, but I see no reason why we shouldn't take it. 
Also, my my rant about the pride badge item from I think it was the last episode or episode before is now a little more uh, more relevant. <laughs> oh no, people! I've picked up a pride item. That means I'm being political. Shut. Shut your face, stupid man or woman. Yeah, we'll take missing now. Um. Oh, you bastard! It's still broken. I, I fully reinstalled Ipecac, and it's still broken. Okay. Uh, so we're probably going to have a lot of planetarium items for a little while here. That's just going to be our life. We're going to have to uh, see how that goes. But, yeah. Um, this is a, this is an issue with uh, with the Ipecac mod, where for some reason it just rerolls all your items into planetarium items. They did fix it, but for me it just isn't fixed. And so as you can see... All planetarium items again. This is going to kind of be our life for a little while. Uh, until we get more items, we're going to have uh, quite a lot of um, planetarium items in our pool. It is kind of interesting and fun to like have these planetarium runs. But I just keep forgetting about it and I keep thinking it's fixed and it's not. <laughs> also, the rainburnness of what we've got going on right now is, is really nice. Yeah, it just, it's fun to get all these planetarium items, but it does make planetarium items feel significantly less special. Because we're getting them so often. The secret room, hello. Hey, we'll definitely crack this open. Dive shards rather nice, a look upgrade there's pretty good too. But yeah, our run's going to be a little bit balked for a bit. And also, one weird thing as well is normally once you've had an item, you can't reroll into that same item again until, like, you've exhausted the pool and then, like, circle back around. But with these, you can. So we'll just keep getting the same ones over and over again. It's, it's, it's a bit strange. I don't really understand it, I'll be honest. Good. We are shredding right now, though. That's nice. Good old little spewer. I will take this. I probably should have uh, just re-rolled the little spewer, because while it's good, it's not that good. But at the same time, it's going to get re-rolled into a planetarium item at the end of the floor anyways. I apologize for these weird broken runs. I know we've had like four or five of these ones now. Oh, God. Don't even know what hit me then. Um, hello, sir. That's a lot of money. A lot of guacamole for me. My god, we're getting cell hearts like crazy here. Cell hearts everywhere. To cell hearts everywhere. By the way, one thing I, I just want to quickly go and check. If we go over to our Repentance Plus um, mod. I'll just type it in. Repentance Plus. We can check what unlocks we need to do to get our new hearts. Because obviously there is new hearts available. Um, that is doing... I believe... Okay, I can't quite tell what that is. I think that that's doing the beast. It's a picture of a door, but none of the things are pictures of doors. So I'm a little... I'm a little confused on that one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm a little confused on that one, I'll be honest. Uh, I'll, I'll try and I'll try and go for the beast this time, though, and see if it unlocks it. But I think that's what it is. Ooh, Eternal. Uh, this guy looks really good, Eternal. But yeah, the thing is, you're kind of relatively weak with if you only have um, planetarium items, so... That's going to be a little bit of an issue for us. We got gold flakes again, so we can have golden pride, which did actually make him bigger, which is kind of interesting. We also got a golden penny there. We got Pascal Candle here. I didn't mean to activate this angel, but there you go, we did. Don't touch those fires. I just realized they're white fires. That would be very bad.
We'll dice shard this into the spear. Hopefully it rerolls into an angel item. Hopefully, I don't know, that, that's not even a thing that, that can happen for us. We'll try it. Let's see. Nope, we just rerolled into more planetarium items. <laughs> oh my lord. It's, it's just so broken. Right, I'm going to go report this to the devs real quick. One second. Okay, let's continue onwards. So we just need to get a lot more items. <laughs> a lot more items to, to pass through. I'm, I'm glad we have their uh, golden pride now, though. That's pretty fun. Golden pride's always a good one. Eternal spider. Hey! The big thing that the eternal spider does is pops out a, a, lo a lot of spiders, but you can't do that if we freeze him, so... I'm just... It's a diamonds here. Could be kind of interesting. Got an item here. Echo Chamber. Would be great if Echo Chamber was, like, usable for a bit. But I doubt it will be. Because we weren't... We were only, only going to have it for, like, a floor. Or half a floor, should I say. A bit sad. I'm going to use the Ace of Diamonds in this large room. I realize with Echo Chamber, we essentially get three Ace of Diamonds, so I don't need to be as picky. A punching bag fella. Solves the big room for us. Okay, good. See if our shop can provide us with a good item or something. We've got lots of money right now. Oh, for God's sake. There is a mod that adds a shop when you get uh, when you get greed. And I might reinstall it. I've, I've been considering it because that, that does annoy me when that happens. By the way, I think Pride looks like a keeper because we got him in the secret room. Pride dominates all. Okay, keep going. Keep going. One second. Let's keep it going. Apparently, the devs didn't know this wasn't... This was still a bug, so it's good that I reported it. Hopefully, it can be fixed relatively soon. At least we've gotten to the point now where we're getting other items other than just planetarium. It's good to see. Not exactly the uh, the fix we're looking for, but good enough. Right. Ah. Oh, I was like, where the hell did that butt bomb come from? But we've got the Colossomia bag item. I just Mars dashed into the enemy by accident. That was pretty <laughs> pretty sweet. Oh, so nice that we can, like, remove Curse of Darkness. We Obviously, we do get another Curse instead. Holy shit, this guy is dropping some fat amounts of crap all over the screen. Spawn three random hearts. It's still... Oh, that now, now it actually does spawn three. Good. It used to spawn just two. Hey, it's really nice. Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to grab the Wheel of Fortune uh, just because it's going to trigger all of my other hearts, from, uh, my, all of my other cards. Oh no, I don't have Echo Chamber anymore. St stupid. We have an Echo Chamber for a full floor at this point. Okay, there's our Fool card. We'll grab that. Oh look, another Golden Heart to add to our collection. So our Pride is just messing people up. Although Pride's going to be pretty useless on the... Uh, on the beast, so just be prepared for that. Okay, it's gonna be pretty useless on the beast. I didn't even go to my item room. I suppose I, I, I've, got, I've got the full card, so I can go to it. 
We have good fire rate right now, though. I'll say that. But that's because that's of the secret rooms we've just been finding. Luna gives us quite a lot of fire rate. For some reason, I kept thinking I still had Sigil of Knowledge as well. But it's like, nah. Missing No got rid of that bad boy a long time ago. Ah! Okay, good. You're taken care of. We grab any of these. Come in here. We grab this. I'm annoyed that I keep activating the angels by accident. Simply by the fact that my shots are just terror shots and just rip through it. But it is what it is. And then we'll quickly check in here. Honestly, we probably should complete boss rush if we can. Um, yeah. Just because I think there is an unlock in it for us. So let's, uh, let's do boss rush. I wasn't considering it to start with. I was going to just full card out, but there is an unlock in this for us, so why the hell not? And it means two completion marks rather than one. That's the only problem with the beast path. If you go the beast path, especially if you don't make it to boss rush, you only get one completion mark. Whereas if you go other paths, you can get like five or six in one run. I just want to see if this is how you unlock the hearts. Oh, there he is. It's Eternal. Careful. I don't know what that means for us. Some of the Eternal bosses are, like, really ridiculously tough. Others are kind of, like, whatever. They're not that big of a deal. You real quick. I'm liking all these patches that we've got around of the, uh, the creep to get that massive fire rate bonus. Getting up, up to almost six fire rate is pretty awesome. Yeah, also, having everything turned to ice is really nice as well. Are you going to brimstone me or not? No? Does this guy not brimstone? He does brimstone. This guy definitely brimstones. I just masked him to him by accident. Okay, yeah, this, this is actually going pretty well. We're, we're skating through these pretty quickly. And remember, we've got pretty much infinite health here because... Well, it's infinite, but our space bar item is going to allow us to get a lot more health back very quickly. Where's the little dude? There he is. Little Steven. He's been bested. Nice. I don't want to lose my immortal heart if possible, but we do have quite far to go without losing it, so I'm not sure how plausible it is. Oh my god, Mars. Why do you trigger this way? Why are you like this? So many eternal bosses here as well. I'm trying to stay calm. Whoa. I thought... <laughs> I thought we had death as a boss there, and he was just really tiny. Then I remembered we've got seven seals. <laughs> that was so stupid. I was like, oh, look, he's so small. And I was like, oh, wait. Wait a minute. That's not what's going on here, is it? I think uh, our little sort of perming wisps are protecting us quite well here as well. I'm not really able to hit this guy back and kind of just keep walking backwards. Look at all the pools of poop juice. I love the fact that when you get a champion mother, you get a champion boss rush. Oh my god, Mars. No one ever wants to trigger you in the way that you trigger. It's terrible. Look at that. I did not want to do that. I mean, it kind of went straight into him, so I'm not going to say it was terrible, but come on. No one asked for this. The black heart. Fine, take care of you first. Oh my god, he just brimstoned the shit out of Dingle. Is there a reason you did that? He just just demolished him. Yeah, hey, look how much these wisps are protecting us. Yeah, um, this little wisp item, I, I've, I've, I've had it a few times. I've never considered it to be that overpowered, but I didn't actually know the wisps could block shots, and they're really easy to generate. You might want to make it so the wisps can't block shots, if that's possible. Just to make it a little less crazy defensively. Because I think this should be an offensive item only. I don't really think it should have the defensive capabilities that it does. I get that it's a higher tier item. It's like a quality 3. But I, I, I still 
quality, using quality to justify isn't the best for... I'm not saying that you are, by the way. I'm just saying that some people do. Um, I lost my mortal heart, unfortunately. But yeah, so we might want to uh, tweak that a little bit just to make it a little little less defensively strong. Because, like, look how many... I, I've, I've, I'm just generating wisps like crazy. I just lost, like, three of them and I'm back up to a full sweep. Because every single kill is giving us one. Or maybe make it a 50-50 on kill to get one or something. I don't know. There's a few different ways you could do it. Queen of Clubs. Nice. How do we not have Spurred, by the way? <laughs> That's a question. How do we not have Spurred? First of all, let's open that up. Quickly go get our treasure room. And you know what? I'll check out my shop as well. Why not? Piss bed. We just want as many items as possible, so the shop's very good for us here. That was pretty satisfying. Oh, we got this item, which is unfortunately now useless. Okay. Let's go. Let's go do the beast. It's been a little while. It did, it did say on the card we should have gone to Mother, but I'm interested in the beast here. That's going to be more of a suggestion than a, than a genuine thing we follow every single time. We haven't been to the beast in ages, have we, so... It's been a long while. We got clear rune this time. Ooh, we got um, champion, golden champion belt for the extra damage. And we got lawful. And we got binge eater. There is... There is some sauce within this. Holy hell. I've not seen many eternal versions of bosses on this floor. Young Heart? Kind of interesting. Yeah, eternal versions of bosses and enemies. I've not really seen many on this floor. I don't, I don't see Gehenna all that often anymore. I should try and go Mother a little more often. Apparently we have astral projection as well. Nice. Reminds me of the Punish, the character we played recently. Oh, there's an... Oh, uh, Yumha. I was like, there's an item in there. Well, yeah, of course there is. It's Yumha. Cool. I am Errol. What was that about? Why is this pill saying I am error? That's probably why. Um, what the hell have we got that's doing this? Um, I'm a bit confused. Where the hell does this lead us? Like, we can't go to the womb. That would ruin everything. <laughs> There's a boss door here as well. Hello? I guess we just go, like... Full card it out. I was very confused by that, then. Oh! One of the items we have is giving pills different effects. My bad, my bad. I thought it was a glitch. I thought it was a little glitch. Anyhow, let's quickly do this. We didn't really gain anything from that uh, room anyways. Onto the ascent. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. We got Hemolacria this time. We've still got Lawful. We've still got the Golden Clicker. We need to look for our item room here. We might end up going the wrong way a bit. Oh, Hemolacria is so good with Saturnus. That might have been a terrible idea, actually, thinking about our future flaws. Hmm. Because we're not going to keep that for very long. I didn't really think about that. That was probably a terrible idea, wasn't it? Ah, actually, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. We got TM Trainer this time around. We probably have all of our items rerolled into glitched ones for the next floor. We don't have to complete any rooms, which is nice.
Just keep powering through. Just up. I put the soul hat. Thank you. Ow. What the fuck is this? What? Where am I now? <laughs> I'm so confused. Did I go to the next floor? What? <laughs> that was so confusing. What just happened? I think I accidentally went to the next floor, but like it was a black screen, so I didn't see it. That was weird. Eternal turn with enemies is very scary. Okay, yeah, that was weird. Cleanse your soul. Thank you. But some, some items I don't seem to be losing, or I seem to be getting back very often. Okay. We're speeding through. Been a bit of a speedy episode in general, really, hasn't it? Let's go. I wonder what we're going to end up with. We got rock bottom this time. Which actually, wait a minute. How does this work? If I do this. There you go. And I get my holy, I get my holy poop stats. Do I keep those on the next floor? Almost definitely not, right? If I keep rock bottom somehow. I doubt I'll keep rock bottom here, but if somehow I do, I have really good stats. Damn it. But we got Epic Fetus. Or is that Dr. Fetus? That's Epic Fetus. Which doesn't work. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. It's terrible. Because we got it with, um... With, with milk. So we can't really keep our care throughout because our damage lowers. Hmm. This hasn't been great. I don't think there's any way for us to trigger another missing note out of this. So we've, we've, we've come to this floor with not amazing stuff, I'll admit. I will play the play to the best of my abilities, but I don't know. We got good damage, though. I will say that. We got very good damage. Another trinket to hold is rather nice. And we've still got Golden Pride. Golden Pride is always here for us. He's eternal. Okay. Well, this is going to be absolutely fucked. How, how? Okay. So, if he's eternal, this is just undodgeable. That's fun. That's good. I'm mean, uh, Whoever decided on that was uh, a smart human. Oh. Uh, th this is... This is... This is dumb. <laughs> Who designed this, this fight? <laughs> This is ridiculous. Th this is... This is silly. This is actually ridiculous. Who designed this? Okay, this also seems really difficult to dodge. Depends where you are, I suppose. If you're still in the right place, it's not so bad. This phase doesn't seem as bad so far. That first phase is honestly stupid, though. I don't know who thought that was okay. 
Oh god. So many feathers. Oh, Mars, please stop. Look at that, that's ridiculous, there's so many. Oh my god. I think this means the beast will be eternal as well, right? I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what this means. Which I think basically means I'm definitely gonna die. <laughs> that bomb did a good job. Let's get another one of them in there. Okay, you're dead. Still, I'm not hurtful, but we'll try, we'll try. That, I can't believe that first attack, the one with the god's head shots. You just physically cannot dodge it. It's not possible. I don't know what, what they expect you to do, but it's whatever they expect, it's not possible. Okay, so this isn't eternal. That definitely gives me some level of hurt. I'm still not going to say that we have a guaranteed win here, because I did lose a lot of health and my, my items aren't great. Like, a lot of my items are meaningless. My holy man already. By the way, using epic beaters here is quite literally impossible. Like, I can't I can't see where it's going at all. It's 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 physically impossible to use epic beaters here. I'm really, really relying on Pride to do some serious work, which he's not at the minute. He's doing very, very low amounts of work. I was really hoping he'd be like walking into enemies all the time, destroying them. Yeah, we're just doing quite low damage. Oh no. Okay, thank god we stopped that attack before it came to fruition because that attack is horrible. What hit me then? Did I just walk into the enemies? I think I did. I think I just got a bit too close to him. Stupid me. Oh yeah, I think I think we're in for a death here, aren't we? We've got a bad reroll. I don't know why we kept getting epic beaters. If this stupid planetarium bug would go away, it would have been nice. Mars, done. It's really not the time. I, what, how did I get myself hit there? That, I just walked right into that one. Oh, and that one. Oh, and I'm dead. What happened there? What? We have to restart the whole fight? Since when was that a thing? Since when was a revive on this fight? I did not know a restart on this fight meant you had to restart the whole thing. Since, since when was that a thing? I thought like nine lives and stuff respawned you in the fight. Okay, this is impossible. I have to like preemptively know which side he's going to come from. And I don't know which side he's going to come from. I got hit straight away there, lovely. And I don't think I'm going to be getting many pennies throughout this fight, so I think I'm dead. I think I'm sufficiently dead. I mean, we're doing a ton of damage here, but I don't think that really matters. Oh, God. Well, this came to a very sad end, but that Eternal Dogma is just... Uh, most of the Eternal bosses, I've really liked their design. That one is just silly. They were just like, just throw everything at them. Literally everything and hope they can survive, because why not? Like, we're doing pretty well right now, but there's no way I'm not going to get hit another one time. I have one hit left in me. Not enough.
Okay. Oh my god. And this is only going to be a keeper mark, not an actual thingy mark anyways, so... He's eternal. Good. I don't know what that means for us, which basically means I'm probably going to die because there's going to be attacks that I don't understand. I'm dead. The fire was blocking me. I couldn't go up. Anyways, that was like a ridiculously sad end to that episode. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.